Hallelujah. Welcome church uh, to this precious and wonderful moment in the presence of the Lord. May the good Lord continue to bless you in Jesus name. Uh, we have talked last week about how we can number our days. But today I want to talk on how to grow your daily confidence in God. Because we have come at a point where we need God more than before. Because we are living at a very unpredictable times. And Jesus said, evil days will come and the evil days have, have, have already arrived. They are with us here. And nothing brings so much pain to the spirit even as anxiety and as satanity continue to accelerate. In the book of Matthew, chapter number 6 and line number 34, the Bible says, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. And each day has enough trouble of its own. Here Jesus brings in the day itself, complaining of its too heavy cares. And these are the days we are living in. And he said, has not every day a burden enough of its own and its own cares? So why then do you add to them by laying on those that belongs to another day? So why do we add those heavy burdens for tomorrow and we add it onto today? In his days on earth, Jesus had a difficult task to attend. So he's not speaking as somebody who had not gone through that. He had gone through the daily hassles. And therefore, he needed to grow his confidence daily. So we need to grow our confidence daily because of the days we are living. And therefore, anxiety must be, be fought today. Tomorrow's fight will happen tomorrow. Kwa hivyo, mambo ya kesho tuwechane na ayo. Kwanza tuweze kujadili yale tulio na hapa. Na diposa, tuweze kuishi leo. So that we can avoid anxiety. In overcoming anxiety, effectively, such people are taught to focus on winning today's battle. So are you able to win today's battle before you think about tomorrow? Jesus says, in short, that born-again believers ought to let tomorrow worry about itself. And here he's not saying Christians cannot or should not make wise plans for tomorrow. No. He is saying believers ought literally to ignore anything but the most immediate question in this context here is about emotion of fear and anxiety. Those who trust in God shouldn't allow warnings in useless worry of the future and that is tomorrow fight to happen today because it is God who cares for each one of us. So the battle to trust God is always happening in the current moments. And because Jesus understood, understood that warfare is daily and the difficult tasks he had, he became a man of prayer. So may God help you to understand the daily prayer. I have tried it in my Christian life 
and every time and every day I pray I'll wake up the next day with a lot of confidence to face the day so in the book of Hebrew chapter number 5 and verse number 7 the Bible says in the days of his early life early life Jesus offered up both specific petitions and urgent supplications for that which he needed with veiled crying and tears on the one who could was always able to save him from death and he was hard because of his revelant submissive toward God and with his sinless life and an unfailing determination to do the Father's will. Jesus was hard. And if there is anything we need urgently for our lives, it is learning a lifestyle of prayer, daily prayer. Because there are so many handles all over. There are so many troubles all over which want to deter your day and may God help you to acquit yourself with prayer in the book of John chapter number 12 and verse number 27 Jesus said now my soul is troubled what shall I say father save me from this time but I came to this time for this cause. You know, Jesus had tough moments as we are having. But his secret was in prayer. So that he could be able to face every day confidently. Alikuwa fanya kazi nyingi sana. Kuna kazi zilikuwa zinamgoja. Na zinge suluhishwa na kitu ingine yote ispokuwa maombi. So he trained himself even to pray better so that God can come onto his aid because we need God. According to John 12, Jesus understood that the human agony and the trouble claving to human nature, no any other word could be more suitable where the relationship of the Son of Man to his God, the Father, could have been expressed. And it would be very difficult to find any other word which should be suitable to this relationship. Sinivia mautengeneze njia zako na buwana. Na tutaitengeneza kwa njia ya maombi na njia uombaji wa kila siku kwa sababu we don't know what tomorrow has for any of us kuna mambo mengi yanaendelea katika ulimwengu huu na ni mambo ya kufadhaisha moyo na kudhofoisha moyo but apart from intimate prayer relationship trusting him entirely and living in an active dependence upon him, it becomes very hard to be able to face the day. When we are weary, doubtful, and in a state of hopelessness, God will grow our confidence by revealing great things we know not of. That's what the Bible says. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter number 3 and verse number 3. Call on to me, and I shall reveal to you things you do not know of. The secret and hidden things. Ile mipango yote miyovu, tumepangiwa, ya magonjwa, ya wafu. If we understand and acquaint ourselves to facing God daily with our prayers, and making our requests known to him, it is to say, tutasaidika. Job is quite one of the best 
example explored in the adventure of prayer until he found his answer. Job was a man of trouble. But I thank God because he understood about this adventure of prayer and which can give the true answers. Job is an interesting and somewhat mysterious character in the Bible. Often when we consider Job, the emphasis is placed on his suffering. Clearly, as one reads the Bible, in the midst of his pain, Job remained certain of the Lord he served and the relationship he shared with him. If it was not on that relationship and being acquainted with God, Job could have given up. And I believe that Job, in the book of Job, 19 and verse number 25 was key to job survival during his horrific trials in life for he said when the wife casted him out of his life and he was left alone and the wife was insisting that but this key verse says Job said, For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and he shall stand at last on the earth. Alielewa, ijapokuwa anapitia shinda nyingi. Alielewa, kweli kabisa, hizi shida zinamwisho hake. Hakuna mvoe na yonyesha, na haita isha. Kwa hivyo naeza kuwa kipitia shinda balimbali za maisha. Na sana sana nyakati hizi, kuna haya mambo yote inaendelea katika ulimengu mzima. Na especially katika inchi yetu, magonjo wa tusiwe elewa. You know, so can we live like this man Job, who understood his relationship better with God? And he was able to maneuver his way. And his prayer life became an adventure to face tomorrow. And the Bible says, after all, If you read on the 42nd chapter of Job, the Bible says God at last came on his way and he was blessed double because he understood. Lakini kama angepotewa na nguvu, Job angeweza kupoteza yote. Na tunakumbuka alikuwa amepoteza watoto wake, alikuwa amepoteza zile vitu zote alikuwa nazo, hata alikuwa amepoteza muke. But I thank God, he stood still until God came his own way. So we are living in days like that. May God help each one of us. Si mungwa tu saidiye. His knowledge of the Lord should serve as a reminder to every believer. Bringing hope even in the midst of our greatest trials. We are living at a tough times when we need to take tough measures of life. And this is not by anything else. You know, once you are acquainted with prayer, it is to say you, are, you get acquainted with God. Unajua mkinelea kuongea na mtu sana. Ule mtu munajuana. And that's why Jesus said to his disciples when he was preparing them for the predicaments which were to take place in the book of John chapter number 16 and verse number 33. I have told you these things that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have troubles but cheer up I have overcome the world. We are following somebody who have already overcome. Unajua ni viema kufuata ule mtu already ya meshinda. Na kwa sababu kifuata ya alishinda sida zote baka kifo akakishinda. Now what we are fearing so much death which is roaming all around. He overcame death. So he is able today to overcome and to give us life. Na hata tukifa kweli kabisa ni mwili umekufa 
lakini mioyo yetu ijakufa inaenda kuishi na Bwana so may god help you and may god be gracious to your life even as you continue to wait on this god in prayer and may the blessings of the lord continue to usher in your life because we have got confidence in tomorrow because our god and our savior liveth he anaish and he's very close to each one of us and that's why he's called Emmanuel kwa hivyo usaidi zetu uko karibu na sisi kama vile hatukuweza kuelewa so may god bless you i would like to pray with you this wonderful moment maybe you are undergoing uh, things which you don't, need, don't don't even understand labda yale mambo unapitia ni mambo yengine hata uwezi kuelewa lakini siku ya leo nataka tuombe eh, pamoja na wewe na diposa na tu, diposa tuonde tuone zile shida Mungu, Mungu ataweza kuzimaliza katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana ni asante katika jina la Yesu Najua kuna shida nyingi zinakoendelea ulimwengu mzima Kuna shida nyingi zinaoendelea katika maisha yetu Lakini Bwana wa majesi siku ya leo ninawaleta watu wako Bwana katika hizo kito kichi cha enzi so that Lord they may face and have confidence with his life ni kama maisha yamesambaratika kwa wengi lakini Bwana ninawaombea naombea biashara zao wale walio wagonjwa na magonjwa wasioelewa Bwana ninawaombea ukawaguze wale walipo hospitalini ninawaombea wale wako manyumbani na ni wengi sana Bwana inawafunika na damu yako na ndiposa Bwana wakaendelee ku, waka na kuona nguvu zako ni asante hata tukiombea hizi nyakati na watu wengi Bwana wakijiunga katika maombi na ndiposa waweze kuwa na fanaka and that they may have that confidence even to face tomorrow without any doubt Lord we thank you and we appreciate you even as you give us a breakthrough of life in the name of Jesus may the blessings of the Lord continue to usher you to his presence in the name of Jesus you are blessed even as God sees you through maybe you are there and you don't know Jesus as your personal and Lord may you repeat this prayer after me everlasting father in the name of Jesus I come to you Lord as you remove my name from the book of death to the book of life and life eternal Lord Jesus I confess my sins and I humbly come to you Lord for your saving grace may the blood of Calvary wash me clean as white as snow that I can live as a child of God I thank you and I worship you even as I continue in this newness of life so may God bless you and I will advise you to go to a near church where you can grow in faith and you can know much about this gospel which has sustained us for so many years and we are still trusting on God you are blessed in the name of the Lord shalom shalom as we continue to subscribe and to watch neno la busara bwana akukubariki katika jina la baba na mwana na mtakatifu tumeomba amina amina